people do it all, all over. Okay, lymphatic pumping. The main thing to understand is that you've got two aspects to the lymphatic system. You've got the superficial lymphatics, which are generally running, following close to the lines of the veins in the superficial layers of tissue under the skin. You've got the deep lymphatics that are following the deeper blood vessels and up through the cystone chain and into, back into the, to the, um, into the venous system up here. And the techniques are somewhat different for each um, part of the, the, of, of the lymphatic system. For the deep lymphatics, uh, we we'll, can work the abdomen and the chest. And I'll also show you how we work on, um, on natural areas of lymph nodes. Now, to activate deep lymphatic flow back up in the abdomen area, we will use the wave technique. And the idea here is to just get the mass of the organs moving backwards and forwards to create rhythmic pressure differentials in the abdomen that will encourage then the, the upward pumping of the lymph. So it's quite a firm, deep wave that we do here. You really want your fingers to be feeling down until you can feel the aorta and the vena cava, because that's the area where you want the main compression to be taking effect. So a couple of minutes pumping there. We continue the process where the cystine <clears throat> chani empties into the venous system <clears throat> up here with a pumping on the top of the chest. do that for a couple of minutes. So this is helping the deep central lymphatics and it's good before you drain superficial lymphatic areas to have got things moving in the centre so there's some space for the lymph fluid that you're pumping from the distal areas, there's some space for it to go and already some increased lymphatic flow deeper in the body. Okay, for superficial, no, we'll stay now with, um, with, <clears throat> with lymph nodes. We have two potential techniques with lymph nodes. Say so we have the lymph nodes in the supracubicular fossa. The technique I use a lot on lymph nodes is to just gently vibrate them, about a minute's worth. We don't necessarily want to pump lymph nodes if they're, if they're inflamed and, and, and enlarged, but just gently vibrating them, just stimulate them and I think help them with their function. We can, if they're not sort of enlarged, we just want to enhance flow, say from the arm or out of the head down through the system. We can also use a, a similar pumping action. As we've used in other areas. We can work the groin lymph nodes with the flat of our hand in a similar way, vibrating or using the same slow gentle pumping action. As I say, I tend not to pump obviously enlarged lymph nodes. I tend to vibrate them. Um, because we don't necessarily want to squeeze the stuff out of them because that's where the toxins 
and um, pathogens are being processed. We simply want to stim stimulate them to, so they work more efficiently. Um, but where the lymph nodes are reasonably healthy but we just want to drain the fluid, then we can, we can use pump, the pumping action on the lymph nodes. When we work, for example, with a limb to drain lymph, the rule is that we always work from proximal to distal, but our pumping action is always from distal to proximal. So we're always pumping in the direction we want the lymph to go, but we start at the proximal end of the limb and work towards the, the distal end. The other thing we normally want to try and arrange with the limb is we elevate it so that it's, um, we get the effect of gravity enhancing what we're doing. And we have two techniques. The basic technique is to enfold as wide an area as, as possible. And we're going to use a pressure that just goes into the skin layer, just really just a few ounces of pressure and a pump in the direction that we want the lymph to flow and then a release. And this is at the rate of about one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can also do this as a circular pump. And we want, we can then come down the arm and pump in a similar way. What we want to do wherever we can is encircle the, the limb. So we basically trap all the lymph with our encircling hands and then it has to flow in the direction we want, want it to flow. At the superficial level, lymph flow can be multidirectional, so we need to do a little bit more to ensure we make it go the, the way we want it to go, rather than just out in all directions from the area where we're giving pressure. So we can work down the limb in that kind of way. The other kinds of techniques we can use with <coughs> with lymph is a very, very slow superficial stroking action, again following the direction that we want the lymph to flow in. And it's good to have a, a map in your mind of where the network of lymph vessels is and to follow that. Or when, as you see the lines of the veins, there's a slight bluish discoloration of the skin, many of the lymph vessels flow very close to the veins. So we can follow those lines and we'd use a very slow, again we stay in the skin layer, light stroking action, taking maybe about 10 seconds to travel about a foot. And we just keep that up, maybe six, strokes, move to a slightly different line, six strokes, moving towards the sort of collection nodes <clears throat> here in the armpit and again we can work from proximal to distal but with the flow going from distal to proximal. So those are the basic.